Hey everybody! Hi guys! Mr. and Mrs. Traveler here. Hell Cost Beauty Channel. Thank you for joining us for another uh, Tip Tuesday. Yes. Uh, today uh, we want to discuss the differences in helping you make an educated decision on Carnival, Royal Caribbean, or Norwegian. Yes. Uh, so we'll give you some of our professional advice and insight and some differences between these cruise lines, being as we have cruised on all three lines. We've been on 25 cruises, going on 26 very soon. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also sell these cruises to people on a daily basis and I get the feedback from them also. Mm -hmm. So, uh, well, let's start with a uh, little bit of the background. Carnival is the largest cruise line in the world, followed by Royal Caribbean and lastly Norwegian. Yes. That's hard to believe because Carnival is huge. <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't seem logical because of some of the uh, different itineraries, but what, what it, really what it is is the cruise lines that they own. Okay, mm -hmm. so Carnival owns Costa, Princess, Ida, Holland, p Ibra, Canard, and Seaborn. I'm actually reading this list on there, so my eyes are kind of going down a little <laughs> bit because I wouldn't remember all that. Yeah. Uh, Royal Caribbean owns Pulmur. I hope I'm saying it right. Uh, Asmara, Celebrity, and CDF, which is a French line, mm -hmm. and Norwegian owns Oceana and Region. Okay. Uh, all of those cruise lines are independent and unique underneath the major brand. Uh, so you cannot use your Carnival Rewards uh, on another line. So if you're a Platinum status on Carnival, that means nothing if you go on a Costa Cruise. Right. So uh, that's an important thing to note. Uh, Carnival was founded in 1972, Royal Caribbean was founded in 1970, and Norwegian was founded in 1966. It was first. Uh, interesting tidbit that I just found out What's in researching that? this <laughs> is that Ted Erison was one of the co-founders with Norwegian in 1966. In 1972, he left and found Carnival. Wow, what a... <laughs> Great idea. <laughs> so he left Norwegian high and dry. He really left them in bad, kind of bad shape. Wow. Uh, Carnival, their maiden voyage was on the Mardi Gras. Mm -hmm. And you remember what uh, what happened with them? They grounded. <laughs> <laughs> Main voyage got, got grounded right outside Miami. And uh, they just popped open all the bottles on the ship. And it just had a big party stuck at sea. <laughs> And they've been to fun ship ever since, I guess, you know, so. That sounds fun. Yeah. So anyway, uh, let's talk about uh, comparing the prices between the cruise lines. If you're thinking about doing a cruise on either one of these lines. Mm -hmm. uh, five, six years ago, I would say there was a distinct difference. Carnival was like always the cheapest. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Royal Caribbean and Norwegian were always kind of battling back and forth there. Right. Uh, last few years, they have been doing a really good job, especially Norwegian, of uh, becoming very competitive with the other two lines. Yes, they have. To where they got our attention. Yeah. <laughs> so even when I'm selling cruises to people, I've seen Norwegian be the the most affordable, mm -hmm. or Royal Caribbean, or Carnival. I mean, it just goes back and forth. They are very competitive now. Yes, they are. This is recent. Yeah. You know, you have to shop around, and you know that's the joy of having a uh, travel agent. You know, you can, you know, if it's if it's a budget and a destination type of thing, well, we can look at all the cruise lines and figure out which one fits your budget. Right. Uh, we'll get more into the specifics of the cruise line because maybe there's something about the cruise line specifically that you'd like to do. Sure. Uh, for instance, we like to explore the new sh the newer ships that are coming out. Mm -hmm. So sometimes that's our motivation. Sometimes it's the island. Sometimes it's the ship. It depends. And sometimes it's budget. Sometimes right. we just want to go somewhere. We don't have a lot of money. We're like. What, yeah. what, what can we get for 500 bucks? Right, sometimes <laughs> we just need a vacation just to get out of here. <laughs> yeah, so it depends, and, mm -hmm. and, and that's what the video like this is to help you make those kind of decisions. Yeah. Uh, so again, they all are pretty competitively priced. Uh, they all have different sales and things going on, and they're always battling back and forth with each other. So anyway, uh, a very popular subject is who's got the best food? Mm -hmm. uh, what's your take on it? Well, I can't choose, <laughs> but I would have to say so far the Norwegian. Like the Norwegian? I've only been on one and I loved the restaurants I went to. Mm -hmm. so. yeah, the I think the choice was 
my favorite. The food was really good. What I noticed when we went on Norwegian was the stuff that we, the extras that we paid for, like the teppanyaki and the steakhouse, that food was it was outstanding. It was better than the restaurants that we go to here. <laughs> and some of, but then some of the free or complimentary mm -hmm. uh, venues we went to in the ship, the food was okay. It wasn't so much. Right. You know, so it kind of went back and forth. And that's my take on food mm -hmm. on all three lines. I can't sit down and say... This one was the best. One. This one was this the one. best, yeah. We've been on some carnival ships with some excellent, I mean, excellent food. Five and, star. And then we've been on carnival mm -hmm. ships where it's just been, eh, okay. Mediocre. You know, it's okay. And 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 same goes with the same with the Royal Caribbean. We've been, on, we've been on some really, really outstanding ships, and then sometimes the food is just okay. I mean, it's, it might be okay, but... Some I, days it's good. Some days it's like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, I, I, but I, I've never been on a cruise where I said the food was bad, so I don't think that that's really not a consideration when you're picking the cruise to me, unless you're trying to get into a specialty brand where they do like the elegant five star meals and all sure, that stuff. Sure, we're talking about the every <laughs> places you go to for free. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, tie ball game for, for food on all of them. Yeah, I can't choose just yeah. one, but so far, no Norwegian has my heart. <laughs> uh, entertainment on the ships. Good question. Yeah, uh, all of them have, uh, you know, they'll have music varieties, they'll mm -hmm. have shows, they'll have magic shows sure. and things like that. They all offer entertainment. You won't be bored on any ship. Right. Let me say that off the, off the top. Mm -hmm. um, There's just some that's better. There's some that's better. <laughs> like who? Royal Caribbean. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Royal Caribbean, in my book, wins hands down they on entertainment. They thought of everything about entertainment on their ships. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even even their from their smaller ships, they have really good shows and sure. music mm -hmm. and things like that. And the newer ships just have, you know, we were on the Allure of the Seas, they have the diving show in there. I really enjoyed that. The ice rinks, mm -hmm. uh, the new the newer quantum ships have bumper, well not, well, it is entertainment, yeah, but they have the bumper that's, cars. That's entertainment. They have the trapeze artists, mm -hmm. they have the, oh, I mean. They have a lot. They have the flying at sea, and I mean, it's just. I really like that. Royal Caribbean really they have zip line. set the bar they have, high they uh, really for have. entertainment. Mm -hmm. There's uh, a lot to do on Royal Caribbean versus either of the other two ships. Yeah. Uh, just know if you do the, the Royal Caribbean, a lot of times you have to book the, those shows and specialty shows ahead, ahead of, time of time before you're going to shoot. We had to sit down and, and, and plan out the stuff that we wanted to do for that the ship. Right. And we took into consideration our poor days and things like that. So, mm -hmm. uh, but they went hands down. But again, you won't be disappointed with the other sh other lines. Sure. Entertainment. They all have really, really good entertainment. I think Royal Caribbean has a big variety versus the other lines. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they all have they all have really good stuff. So, but uh, we'll give that one to Royal Caribbean. Sure. <laughs> then we want to kind of talk about ports and things, but specifically we want to talk about the private islands. All three of the lines have their own private island, mm -hmm. but I think one sticks out in our mind. If you want to ask us what's our favorite, we're gonna say Half Moon K. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what we're gonna say. Yeah, tell us Carnival wins on the private island. Carnival has everybody. Yeah, Half Moon K is absolutely beautiful. Now we're talking about just the private islands because we know Royal Caribbean has the uh, place in, in the Dominican. They've, sure. they've got those other destination ports, but we're talking about the private islands that are in the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. um, and that one we have definitely have to go to to Carnival. Mm -hmm. Half Moon K is absolutely beautiful. White sand beach. It's breathtaking. The, you have to see it. The water is so clear, like when the waves break, you can see through the waves. It's like glass. It's literally the, the water is that clear all the time every time we go and then part of the beach down there they got like a big uh building and they bring the dj out there yeah. and they have like a beach party out there so if you want fun. to or you can keep walking down the beach and it's quiet on the other end if you just mm -hmm. want to have a secluded time right and the got food that. is delicious too oh yeah it's so good <laughs> it's so good so private island we're given to uh carnival yeah uh, now talking about the rest of the ports Mm -hmm. uh, here's kind of where the, where the differences come in. Carnival, you've got your Caribbean, your Bahamas, your Bermuda. Uh, they do have like Carnival Australia. Um, they do go to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of where they're limited at. If you want to go to any of the worldwide destinations, you have to go to some of their other brands. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Norwegian does the set those same ones, but they also do Europe and um, South America itineraries as well. 
they do some uh, Panama Canal stuff. You want to go through the Panama Canal, which that's on the list. Yes, that's on our bucket list. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Royal Caribbean, they're worldwide. They go everywhere. Yeah. There's <laughs> no can, place they don't go. Yeah, I mean, you can get Dubai, you can go to Russia, you can, you can go, go to the Mediterranean. They have a, a large outreach. They reach us further. Yeah, so they go They go to a lot of destinations. So mm -hmm. I definitely have to give the, the ports of call to Royal Caribbean. They want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they definitely mm -hmm. have a very big variety. And, uh, you know, it's very easy to book with them once you're on the ship and you sit down with their cruise planner. Right. And figure out which itinerary to do. And you can still, your um, travel agent will still get full credit. They'll help you uh, with your booking after you get back home, monitor it for uh, price and, and changes and things like that. Or you can contact Mr. Traveler. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. He'll hook you up. <laughs> uh, last so. thing we want to talk about was the, the vibe or the layout of the ships mm -hmm. between the, the cruise lines. Um, Carnival is is uh, they're the fun ships okay it's a party every day they're they're themed so like yes. your sunshine was the sunshine let's say for instance the sunshine that's my favorite carnival ship it's just like the sun when you go on the colors is the same it looks like sun it has big gold suns everywhere the theme is the sun so take for instance the sunshine is the sun well royal caribbean there there's this luxury yeah so that's a little different yeah royal caribbean is, yeah, they just have a lot of nice little luxurious touches. Yeah, they don't theme their ships like that versus like the Liberty and yeah, um, the Valor with the American flags everywhere. It's yeah. a little different. And um, Norwegian, at least our, with our experience with the newer ships uh, with Norwegian, uh, they're just they're about... They're more contemporary and hip, like the W Hotel is yeah. more contemporary. Yeah, when you're on the ship it kind of feels more like a... a Las, it feels more like a, uh, you're in a Las Vegas hotel yeah, or something. Yeah, it feels like a Las nice. Vegas hotel. It's very, very upscale, but it's not to where it's unapproachable. It's very comfortable. Yeah. So they all have their different unique uh, vibes and everything. Mm -hmm. um, all three of the lines have smaller, older ships that are generally cheaper in price. You kind of get what you pay for mm -hmm. on those ships. And then they all have their newer, more luxurious ships. And, sure. So. Just like kind of what has 2.0, well... The, how does the work we're being do it? They have um, the, like the Freedom Line and the, cool. the Promenade Lines. Yeah, yeah, different. they just yeah, they just I know uh, something is quantum about class it. and the, yep. the yeah, class sovereign class and the yeah. different classes, the different classes of ship. Yeah, Carnival does mm -hmm. two point oh upgrades mm -hmm. where they have all the guy burgers and yes. oh, those are good. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, so all three lines have really their own distinctive flair and, and touches and mm -hmm. I was you know uh kind of was the fun show Royal Caribbean is kind of when you want to be more laid back and sophisticated on a real vacation you don't want to be bothered and Norwegian <laughs> Norwegian is somewhere in the middle there they, and they filled right in, they, in the middle they filled in all the gaps where mm -hmm. the other two lines have missed things yes yes so they do they have grottos they have rave parties they have everything that Royal Caribbean carnival don't yep mm -hmm. uh the freestyle element is really nice. Yeah, uh, you don't have to make a time for dinner. Yeah, if you don't want to, you know, have to wait for dinner. If you want to just go to dinner and go to bed early or whatever you want to do. Right. It, Versus it was, Carnival and Royal Caribbean, you have to set times. Yeah, and they do have the my time dining also, but it, we didn't really care for it ourselves. Mm -hmm. But some people, many people do like it though. I guess it depends on which ship, but we didn't care for it. It ends up being sometimes it ends up being a line depending on what time you go and that kind of thing. So it all depends. And, mm -hmm. and and having a sit down dinner on Norwegian, or excuse me, on Carnival and Royal Caribbean, you get to know your uh, wait, wait staff, you get mm -hmm. to know the people that you're sitting with. You so, become friends. Yeah, there is something to be said for that. Where in Norwegian, you're different every night. Yes, we meet new people every day, and we, we really enjoy that. Yeah, so it was fun too. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so it's just. You know, uh, sometimes it's about budget, sometimes it's about ship, sometimes it's about destination. It yes. just depends. Uh, if you have any further questions, I would love to talk to you guys. You can reach me at www.mr-traveler.com. Right here. Uh, we can talk further about helping you find a cruise, the right ship, and the right destinations for you and your family to help make wonderful memories. Yes. Life short, guys. Have fun. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>